Hey everybody, welcome back to Listography. Jason here, coming at you with my staff picks for the week. Yeah, sorry guys, stuck with me for back-to-back -back weeks with my staff picks. I think Kramzer will be coming at you next week with some of his choices, but I've got a few more good ones to share with you. I'm going to start it off by talking about a record called A Tear in the Fabric by Devin Williams. This is a really good record with a really cool sound. I uh, str strongly recommend this one for anyone who's into like 80s college rock, kind of left of the dial type of stuff. It's kind of like jangly, pop rock but a lot of like reverb soaked production and heavy reverb on the vocals. It also reminds me of newer artists like Wild Nothing, uh, although maybe a bit more poppy and a bit more jangly. So if that sound is something that you're into, I'd strongly recommend this one. The title track, A Tear in the Fabric, is probably one of my favorite songs of the year so far. And the single Borderline is also really good if you're looking for kind of a place to start. The second record I want to talk about today is called Strange to Explain by the band Woods. Woods are a folk rock band. They dabble in psychedelia, sort of 60s uh, influenced pop, and I guess you could also argue that there's a certain progginess to some of their music as well. They formed in 2005 and they've been around for a little while. Their bass player Kevin Morby left the band in 2013, and since then he has released several of my favorite records of the past decade. Also the Woods record. With Light and With Love was my second favorite record of 2014. So this is a band that I'm, I've been pretty into for a little while now. Uh, they've got a lot of good records, although I have sort of felt like the last couple of records uh, since that 2014 record have kind of been de declining in quality, maybe just a little bit. They're still good records, but I feel like they were maybe looking to expand their sound in certain ways with kind of mixed results. City Sun Eater and the River of Light and Love is Love were the name of those two records. Uh, but on this new one, Strange to Explain, I think they kind of get back to their core sound. They are playing very relaxed and confidently, and, and they're just kind of doing what they do best. So if you're into that sort of like 60s psychedelic folk uh, and you're not familiar with Woods, this is definitely... A record that I would recommend. And lastly, I just want to uh, talk about a record called Going to the Movies by Mark Fredson. Uh, this is a really fun record. It touches on a lot of different styles. The opening track, Bitchin' Summer, is kind of a fun 60s pop inspired tune, maybe a little Beach Boys-esque, but it has a little bit of like 80s synth on it. A second track, Come Find Me If There's Anything I Can Do, is kind of yacht rocky, uh, smoother, jazzier, maybe a little note of Steely Dan in there. Are You In It is uh, another sort of smooth tune centered around a Fender Rhodes. Uh, it's got like an R&B type of chorus to it with horns, which is really cool. The track To The Moonlight is kind of 80s pop rock with kind of a dark noir sounding synth line. You've got other great songs on here as well, like Thought and Prayers, which is more of a 70s singer-songwriter piano ballad with a really catchy chorus. Um, and the song Casual and Calculated is sort of a funky 80s pop song with a high falsetto vocal. There's kind of an intentional cheesiness to this record, which actually works in its favor. It kind of brings a sense of cohesion to all of these uh, wide varieties of styles. The songwriting is really good, uh, kind of clever, and there's a, a good sense of humor to it all. This might not be like the most innovative or, or unique thing that you've ever heard in your life, but he's doing all of these uh, different styles at a very high level, and I think it's executed really, really well. So that's it. Those are my picks for the week. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos. we got a good listography coming up this week that I think you will, you will all like a lot. Um, until then, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell so that you get notifications, leave some comments below, and we will see you soon.